Hi, my name is Natalie Wolf, and I'm the Associate Student Representative for the High Plains region of Sigma Tau Delta. And I have been reading our common reader for 2020, Red, Passion and Patience in the Desert by Terry Tempest Williams. And in it, Williams is talking about preser preserving land in Utah, where she's from. And she really has a great way of describing the land in a way that it like comes alive, weaving together the land itself and the life on it and also like describing it very imaginatively and incorporating the magic and mythical elements of the land. It's, it's really beautiful. But in it, she also talks about kind of how everyone has a, like a piece of land or an area of land that they connect with that kind of like helps inform who they are. And it really made me think about like what that might be for me. And so I'm from Kansas, and I go to school at K-State, which is in the Flint Hills, which is the last, it's on, it's, it includes like a tall grass prairie. And I've known that this was something kind of like cool that was nearby, but I hadn't really looked into it that much before. And so I started doing some research after reading and found out that apparently there used to be like 170 million acres of tall grass prairie in United States, like all the way from Canada to Texas, but that it's really reduced and it's only down to like 4% of what it was today, but and that 80% of it is in the Flint Hills. And I just found that really incredible. And it's kind of been motivation for me to go and actually check that out as I have it. You can go hiking there. And so I think I'm going to finally go this year and see it. So yes, I definitely would recommend reading Red. And she just has a great way of describing the land, so check it out and figure out what interesting landscapes might be near you.